goals conceded, not scoring goals, injuries, quite a bit to talk about really. Uh, welcome, Neil Ellis here from Tykes TV. Uh, another away trip, uh, disappointing one this one. We just start, uh, I mean, looking on the lineup. Robbie Cundy missing, and it turns out he's going to be out for two, maybe three weeks. So you see the lineup, you're wondering what what we're going to be playing. Um, Williams has dropped back into the central defensive role. With it turned out being Benson in right wing back position. New signing on bench, Bobby Thomas came in on loan um, evening before. <clears throat> from Burnley, a player that Michael Duff knows so under twenty three set up. I'm getting about you know the recruitment side and it a bit later on. And to be fair, I don't know what your guys think about this, but I, I thought we started pretty pretty well, if I'm being honest. Um we show that pushing, attacking threat, you know, uh an intent to attacking it to him. Bit concerned for me as well at times, at times, is that as we were doing that, they were trying to not counter. <clears throat> you could see what we're trying to do. We're trying to play into channels. I'm trying to resist on counter. But I thought more as game went on. We we could have possibly had a goal or two um before we hit crossbars and you know we'll get on to that as well. But they played the ball in. I mean, Benson were pushing forward for right wing back position. Ball went in behind him, and they cut in, and obviously scored. We can see the penalty, which makes a change. Um, some odd one or two weird refereeing decisions, but again, we don't want to make it about that. You can't blame referee for us not converting chances that we had. You know, we had. He got 20 odd shots, only a couple on target, corners. I don't think Charlton had a corner, I can remember. We were in double figures with corners. <clears throat> and again, hitting crossbar twice, shot on target. Unfortunately, Vante calls it way, blocks it from possibly going in. Off at line attempt. So when we get to that final third, it's been more clinical. Trying to walk, trying to have a play, trying to walk in at times. Some at ball crossing, Nob de Vier. Aitchison, I'm not just singling him out, but I thought Aitchison had a call. Not really testing their keeper out, if I'm being fair. I thought driving what coming from his midfield, as you know, what as, as well as I could do. But when again, I think it all screams out we are. It's not a new thing. We've been highlighted that you can see where, where, where it is. The amount of chances we're creating, not squinting back at net, I think it highlights the problem where, where the issues are. Then you've got to, to Benson into the mix as well. He picked up a, an injury again. Robbie Cundia, so he didn't make this game. So again, it's highlighting now, which we said earlier on in the season, squad depth and for me, it's starting to show we're having to rely on players playing out of position, i.e. Benson at right wing, right wing back position, and it's just it's just a culmination of things. And yeah, we'll be some people here saying, yeah, but we're still in top six, and we, you know, we've just gone on unbeaten, and it's only the second game, and. I get that, but you still can't get away from the fact that they not scoring enough goals. B we started to concede them. And it just goes to show how Duff has won manager at month for both November and December, how much of the tune has got out of players. You can't I'm struggling for words to find on this because 
certain certain forums, certain fans are starting to question Duff and saying, "Oh, yeah, he's got his clothes and stuff." That's far from it. I, I I just don't understand that whatsoever. I don't understand that whatsoever. Duff came in and took over a, a side that was low in confidence, just been relegated. Players wanted to go, players to be sold to offset a disjointed side, and it's showing even now. So for people calling out such as Duff, I think it's best thing what could have happened to Barnsley for quite some time, Michael Duff. The problem is, and why I don't understand why it's not being questioned at all, not being questioned is about the crap that the board last season caused. And it's, we're still carrying this burden. Yet, Michael Duff has been questioned over summer where he's got no control on. He's had no money to spend. No money to spend whatsoever in transfer window or windows up to now. He's having to more or less rebuild. He's having to remodel, restructure, re-standardise the, the, the club, the playing element. It just won two, man, you know, manager at Monfort Ward twice in succession yet when we're going through that period everything was hunky dory and everything couldn't do no wrong yeah it, you've got to you've got to look at a bigger picture here you've got to look at a bigger picture if he don't get backed if he don't get backed then has he been sold a false promise I'd like to have seen Duff in charge of the championship side last season we wouldn't have gone down I don't think we would have gone down under him if he did to cover the second half of the season. But for some reason, he's starting to get it. Yeah, I get about his manager. I get that. But you've got to look at the bigger picture and think and question and question the board from last season and possibly up to now. You know, if there's no money or, you know, available or funds are lacking for, you know, from last season, but we're carrying it onto this and, and poor, you know, and, and lads. Getting it, I think he's worked well with Luke Connell. Connell McCarthy, another than that, injured, he's improved. Luke Thomas is brought into fray again. At it, so there's a lot of for me. I can see improvements with his improving players, and yeah, it we've, we've probably got players at club like now. What a not fitting model, not fitting his way of playing, or what what's simply not good enough, but. Until he gets backed, until he can improve his squad, not just the team, but his squad, then it's going to be ongoing. This it's going to be it's going to be a week in week out one where we're going to be having to reevaluate and with limited options. Players that have come in at minute: Max Waters, Bobby Thomas. For both loans, for both loans. So people think that oh, we're going to get you know if. It, it, Hypothetically, looking in for, in future, we go up and we get promoted. What we're we going to do as players to improve a squad? We've got we have got to readdress this issue on the the playing si staff situation and make us a stronger unit before we even think about outright promotion. We've got to find his own. So yeah, I mean Charlton, I mean. <sighs> Fair play to fans what went down, just under a thousand. Long journey down, long journey back, even longer journey coming back. But I mean we've we've got to improve on the pitch. And again, Duffel need backing. Duffel need backing. And I'm not saying that we're not trying behind the scenes, but at this moment in time, we're picking up more injuries. And it's just highlighting the issue with the, with the squad that we've got, how Fred bet it is. And we've still got a fair amount of games to play. Midweek weekend, midweek weekend, it's going to be coming up thick and fast. It's going to be putting more pressure on players for the fitness levels to be maintaining it. I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, my thoughts on game is that it was... An improved performance in certain aspects in trying to push and trying to create and which for what I could see Luke Connell, Adam Phillips, 
Defence war for me, average did what it sounded tin. Midfield again were trying to get things going, but in final third, we were just not there. I knew we went one note down, that was it, because you go one note down this season and we had not come back. We had not come back. Uh, so that were that was just a worry. It it had been an interesting to see if we'd gone one note down to come back and do it. Like I said, we crossbar twice, so people say, yeah, we were unlucky in this other. But look at the, the ratio on the the goals to shot ratio, the corners, certain areas, we, you know, we dominate periods as you play. If you don't capitalise on that domination, then it's going to come back and bite you, which it did. Which it did, you know. Um, Charlton, they did what they had to do. They beat us on counter. They opened up his, you know, his back line and he was a pace and got in and did the job. Still got a couple of games in hand, but before people start saying, yeah, but we've got two games in hand, I, I, I want points on board rather than games in hand. I, I, you know, it's not like saying you've got a couple of games in hand. I'd rather have the points. You've still got to play them games. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, let me know your thoughts, you know, who stood out for you, who didn't. Your tech on, you know, certain sections of fan, your tech on game in general. Moving for a light now, uh, Ackerton Stanley. And you think, on <laughs> you think on paper, a winnable game. But reality, it could be a banana skin. So, I want to be going into it well. I want to be confident. I want to say, yeah, we're going to do it three now. But in reality, at home, the pressure's on us. And pressure's on players. Um, I don't know. It's a weird situation at the minute. A weird situation at the minute. we just got to get back to winning ways. We need a response. We need strikers to start scoring goals. We need reinforcements. There's a lot of, we need this, we need that. Uh, no doubt we'll be on training training ground on Monday, addressing certain issues. We just can move on. It's another game, out of way. Um, move on. No midweek games. Reevaluate. That's all I can do. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment. Let me know your thoughts. I always reply back to them. Please like, subscribe and share. Appreciate you taking your time out. One thing left to say, you Reds.